It's finally here! It's finally here! It's finally here! Uh, I don't think that was too good for my knees. Look at that. It's red. Space is kind of limited here in this room, so we're gonna have to move that monitor out of the way so you guys can see this box and my face. Actually, I'm kind of insecure about this hair right now. I feel like I'm uh, like a Nova. Why can't I just like Velcro this off like whoosh, and just put it on top of here? Bruh. I'm gonna put my hoodie on. I look kind of weird, but then whatever. This is the new camera that I got. To be honest, I have a story for you guys. Since this channel has launched, it has been a while that I have been dealing with my old camera, D5100. Camera doesn't even work anymore. Well, it kind of works, but then the autofocus is kind of bad. Look at that. Yeah, so the autofocus is pretty unreliable. Around 10K deposit, but then it left after. Sunset time is, uh, James Drive 20, it's like, no. <laughs> and this is what we'll be looking for. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I purchased this bad boy around January. Its estimated delivery time was Sam Yu Zhong. Just suddenly it came in the mail like end of Chinese New Year. It had just been sitting in my house for like six days. I've looked at the box a couple times, but I've never dove what's inside. Yeah, this is my experience of unboxing the A7S3, and I hope you guys have a good unboxing. So, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's uh, calm ourselves down. Never got myself a camera. Probably have to use it more often, I guess. Let's dive in what's inside this box. Oh, we got tons of menu here. USB-C cable. Damn, what is this? I think it's some mount. I don't think I would use this though. Put those aside and uh, let's get inside. It's like we're opening, opening something like... <laughs> Ooh, like spread them out. <laughs> spread your legs out wide. Woo! Let's see. Got a camera strap. I don't know if I'll be using this. I got some Peak Design camera strap. Not a camera strap, but then more like a camera cuff. I'll unbox that soon. Side here. Got a little message. Gotta have to work tomorrow. Got a battery charger here. Charger for, of course, the camera battery. We got tons of cables. These are for the battery charger. I think I'll be only using this one because this one is the Hong Kong one. And uh, yeah, it is here. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Look at that. Baby! This grip is so much grippier. Oh, where's the battery then? Oh, the battery is right here. I was like, where's the battery? <laughs> See if there's any battery in this battery. English? Yeah. Uh, we'll set this in a later time. Oh, we got the flip LCD screen here. Just so beefy compared to the A7C. Like, this is much thicker than the A7C. It's so sturdy in my hands. Like, it's not gonna Ooh. go anywhere. Yeah, on the side, we got the mic jack here, the headset jack, full HDMI, the charging dock, and also micro USB. This is where you put the SD card. If I know how to open it, I can't open it for some reason. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna have to take it out like this and whoop. The SD card slot and also the CF Express Type A slot, which I don't have yet. Let's do a quick setup on the A7S3 and let's switch it out, maybe? Yeah, let's, let's switch it out. Okay, 
This is on the A7S III. I haven't set anything else. I just switched the picture profile to s 3 and uh, yeah, this is what you get straight out from the camera. We gotta have to deck it out with these, these screen protective film on and see how the A7S III performs straight out from the box. I got a feeling that I would fuck this up. Steady hand, steady hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gonna have to sterilize it again. Looking pretty juicy. I don't think there's any dust here. I think it's looking pretty good. We can't really test any footage out because today it's kind of raining. The next day. I just found out that the mic jack is uh, broken. I don't know why. It's so sturdy in my hands, like it's not gonna go anywhere, but then I always get some these faulty items. I think I have to fix it, but yeah. Curl is 8 degrees. Chat in Jong Yam. Let's go to work. Let's go. This is the fast charge we need to do. You know what I'm doing? You're going to teach me how to do it. Don't say it, don't say it. Negative voice. We're ready to work. Some fat man rises today. No biggie. Wow, it's really good. It's a S3. Man's on set. Wow, this is really good. What are you doing? Battle? Want a battle, huh? Want a battle? Whoa, 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 whoa. Set life, set life. One week later. Oh my god. I slept for the whole entire day. Wait. Did I even buy light? God, it's raining cats and dogs right now, and it's only seven degrees in Hong Kong. Woo! But then a uh, shoot is over, and I'm going back home. Weather ceiling is pretty good on this device, so I'll see you back home. Just woke up. I was kind of too tired yesterday for filming the end sequence, but uh, now it is. Here I am. Rain is no longer visible in this country anymore. It's already really sunny today, but then it's still kind of breezy. So I gotta have to wear more for this. Ooh, without the lens. Ooh, it's just like a machine gun. Hey, it's a machine gun. <laughs> machine okay. gun. So that's a continuous burst mode, which could go up to around 10 frames per second. That's not typically super fast, but then that's already perfect for my use. Uh, plus, I won't be using continuous shooting mode because it tends to be pretty heavy on the card in storage space. I'm just usually taking this for maybe like portrait or landscape. So single shooting would work just fine. And also the touch screen. I love the touch screen. You can use this touch screen to basically scroll through menus, which is a pretty handy dandy feature if you ask me. And then you can also go back to the playback menu and then swipe through the different images you took. 
and also the different movies you took. So that's a pretty good feature too. Talking about the autofocus, the autofocus is amazing on this camera. It's really snappy, but then I would have to dabble around the setting because sometimes it loses focus and it's not really sure which subject to hunt to and which subject to focus on. There's quite a bit of different focus setting that we could. We could go wide. We can also go zone. So I think I should be using wide, but I'm not that sure. Cause sometimes that if there's two different person in the frame, one's in a different depth, it only tends to focus on my face, but not on the other person's face. So it might have to do with some aperture setting. I'm not that sure yet. I would have to dabble in deeper on the setting, both for the focus and also the aperture to set this device for maximum blogging capability. Last but not least, I want to talk about the steady shot on this device. Device. The steady shot, I would say, is pretty good with active stabilization. It will have a slight crop on the device, but then it performs exceptionally stable if I use it with a 120 frames per second slow motion with the active stabilization. But one thing that I found out that when I was vlogging and not using the active stabilization, which is called the steady shot, I feel like the footage tends to be a little bit wobbly. Maybe I was just holding the camera like this instead of using a gorilla pod. So I might have to test that out for a couple times. But however all in all, this device is pretty much amazing. A really big step up to my old camera. Yeah, I would just have to dabble in the setting set everything perfect for vlogging, making sure this device can perform at its best. I will be testing this camera more often. So if you're new to this channel, I mainly do product reviews and also mainly some Hong Kong lifestyle vlogs. So if you're into that content, please hit that subscribe button. And if this video is uh, maybe a tad bit entertaining or maybe it provided a little bit value for you, please hit that like button. And also maybe comment on what you wanna see in this channel for the next video or the next 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 video i think this is it more content will be coming up but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and uh peace out